Welcome to Weld.com. We had multiple requests. We ran some hard surfacing where we, I think the first one we did was with a eutectic torch where we blew a powder onto a, onto a surface. We superheated the surface and then uh, the, the powder was injected into the flame and we got it to bond to the material. And then we did a video where we were doing a, a, uh, a Blue Demon hard surfacing wire. And we did, we did it on this plowshare here and went over the top of some cracks. We were looking at bonding features here and see how it ran. And now I wanna run a product called Hard Alloy 119. And it is a 3 16 rod and it's got a big old fat coating on here. It looks like about 3 8 or it's, it's a big old chunk of rod here. So I'm gonna run off of a Aesop Renegade and I have this wired to single phase so it automatically defaults to 200 amps. If I'd hook this up to three phase, I could go up to 300 amps. Now, I want you to think about that for just a little bit. That's a little bitty machine, 300 amps, okay? Stick and TIG, it's got some nice features to it. You can run 6010 and you have control over the 6010 as far as the crisp and soft settings in it. It has a setting for 7018. Again, you can, you can set that. I'm pretty sure I have this set on the 7018 side of this, and I have my crisp soft setting set about 50%. So again, 3 16 rod, little bitty machine. I'm gonna go ahead and run it at 200 amps. And I'm gonna start out and I'm gonna go a, a, next to what I did before and probably run out here. The other thing I'm gonna do is go along the edge of this because this already has some kind of an overlay on it. And whatever was on here before, this is a rejected part, by the way, it's not going back in the ground. Whatever was on here before has created this, these uh, series of cracks transverse across this material right here. Um, anyway, I wanna go over the top of them with this stuff here and see what happens. Let me get my hood on, I'll be right back. For some reason, this great big old fat rod doesn't look like it'll run on 200 amps, but this machine is handling it well. Have some major porosity in the start of this weld here. I noticed the flux, I was noticing a lot of weld pool before I would see the slag line. I'm not sure what that's all about. I do know that this rod's about 20 years old, sitting in the cabinet out here. Got a decent appearance other than a couple of bug holes here and there. I wouldn't be alarmed with that, especially with something going in the ground. I don't like the porosity right there at the start, and it's about an inch long. Again, a couple things, big old fat rod and a little bitty machine. Pretty impressed with that. I wanna run the rest of this rod. Um, I wanna run the rest of this across this cracked material just to see what's gonna happen, just to see if it's gonna open back up with the crack. Uh, can you get that for me, please? Deep down inside here. We need to talk about this for a second. Camera guy's gonna zoom in here close. We're gonna talk about polarities and penetration. This is DCEP or reverse polarity. It tends to create a cupping effect on a lot of, a lot of electrodes. This cupping effect as the, as the molten metal in the arc up in this cupping effect, it gets superheated and it gets bombarded into the material therefore you have penetration. Is that the same as DCEN? 
You know, we think of DCEN as maximum penetration because the electron flow is off of the grounded electrode onto the positive material. Ah, yeah, think about that. I've always, I've always seen more penetration out of DCEP on stick welding than I have DCEN on stick welding. Just the opposite, obviously, on TIG welding. Just something to think about, you know. All right, here we go. We're going to run the rest of this. By the way, when I get done, I'm running 3 16 hard alloy, which is a big old fatty. It's got a lot of flux on it. When I get done, I want to grab another piece of material over here, and I want to run quarter inch. It's not near as heavy in the flux part of it, but it's a quarter inch core wire. It's a Certanium 425. I want to see if this little machine will handle a quarter inch electrode. So, all right, here we go. Are you ready? Hey. Uh, this was, uh, you know, I, I came out here and I did a deposit up inside this blade. And after the rod got going, it laid down an acceptable appearance wise. I thought it looked pretty nice. I got out here on the edge and I kind of suspected this would happen, but I just blew up the edge of this thing. And I, I turned this thing down 25 amps. I may have been able to turn it down even more than that. So a little odd to me, great big old fat 3 16 electrode with a massive amount of flux on it. And I had to turn it down. I mean, you know, what I'm really looking at, I mean, this is kind of a crappy deposit on here. I would, I would learn to run this a little bit and see how these edges are supposed to be and how they want it laid down. But what I was really looking for is, are any more of these cracks going to open up that were on here before? And they're not. So. Again, fatty rod, 3 16 hard alloy 119. So this is a part that we had experimented on. I'm gonna get with the customer and get a, a one that he's gonna actually put back in the ground. The bolt holes weren't cracked out and everything. So last thing I wanna do is grab a practice plate over here and I wanna run this quarter inch electrode with this small machine here that renegade Welcome back. I went ahead and cooled this off and kind of buffed it off. Had kind of a kind of heavy, dense, crusty slag on it. While this thing was running, it reminded me of a high nickel alloy rod, the way it came off, the little BBs coming off the flux and everything. It's been a long time since I've uh, run this and I had some people in Canada comment about what this is actually used for. I believe it's the copper, copper bronze probably a Monel product anyway. I was just kind of curious to see if, if little guy over here was gonna run it, and it did, which to me was kind of amazing. So again, we did a little hard facing over here, hard surfacing with the hard alloy, big old fatty rod, 3 16 
and uh, then we broke out and did a, a quarter inch aluminum or quarter inch core wire electrode. So interesting. I'm I'm kind of curious to get a, a good blade and lay some stuff down on it with a couple of different applications. So uh, hey, I learned a little bit here. I hope you did too. So appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Thanks for watching.